but when I'm hitting the tip, I'm making sure that the actual tip of the tip is touching the belt. Um, if you don't do this, you'll never get to the point, and you'll end up with a rounded point. If you go too far, you'll end up with a tip that's nice and blunt, uh, which is usually not what you want. So let's check for a burr again. Oh yeah, pretty much full length except for the first quarter to half inch of the heel and the last quarter to, yeah, more like a half inch of the tip. So I'm gonna work on those two areas real quick. Yep, pretty much um, a full burr heel to tip on that now. Um, so I'm just going to switch sides and do the exact same thing again. Um, just going to form a burr along the entire edge and keep going. Uh, I should sharpie this side also. The angle is probably going to be really, really similar, or at least close enough. Um, but I like to, I like to check, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much it on. Okay, that's about it. For a burr, I've got the beginnings of the burr. Wow, I've got a bunch of the edges actually. That's just too surprising. Let's go. Some really beat up the ways I've worked on. I've had to do 10, 12, 15 passes before I get started to get a burr. Now, this knife's really dull, but it's not beat the crap like some of those other knives I've gotten. You notice I'm getting my hand really, really close to the belt. It's it's only slow enough that it really isn't going to hurt me if I accidentally to touch it. Um, so that's another advantage of this thing over you know, a real high-powered belt sander is it's not really going to hurt you too much. All right, I've got a third, almost the entire length here. Quite by the feel of the blade yet, but just about everywhere else I can feel the burr. Work on this a bit. Except, well, it's something I do. When I'm working on the heel of the blade, I like to touch the belt to it about here, and then move back until I get to the bolster. Otherwise, I might be setting the bolster down on the belt. I don't really want to do that. I want to just get up to the bolster and not down the way. So the same you move the knife a little bit this way, and then back this way. Okay, gonna so throw in a whole length. I don't normally uh deburr after this really, really coarse belt, because I'm just going to be moving up to the other belts anyway, the X65, the X22, and the X4. So I'm going to change belts real quick to the X65. I'm adjusting the track in here to get the belt over that way a little bit. So check my time on the camera. I'm still, I think I'm still doing okay. All right, burr is on this side. 
So we're going to use this belt to quickly take the burr off and then establish a new burr at this grit level. Same thing as before. Once you establish an initial burr, as you work through the drips, it gets back up real, real quick. I've already got a full up burr. I'm going to take a couple, yeah, one or two more passes, just to make sure the scratch pattern is totally gone from the previous belt. looking at the reflection here to make sure the scratch pattern does look like it's changed. Mm, I'll be honest, in this light I can't really tell, so I'm kind of going on faith that I have removed that scratch pattern. Um, we definitely have a full length burr. I don't know if the camera can see it, but you might see the burr glinting all, all the way along this edge. Maybe, if I'm lucky. I'm going to take the burr off this side and establish yet another burr at this X65 level. I can actually see the burr reflected in the light here on the whole edge. Again, I'm going to do two more passes just to try to make sure the scratch pattern is gone. I'm still learning this camera, and apparently the video shut off uh, partway through the X65. I was almost done with it.